Hello. Ciao. I'm Oscar. And I'm Dan. And today we are in San, San Marino. Marino. Country <laughs> number 59. 59. As you can see, it's already one of the most beautiful countries we've ever been in. Just first, we're going to show you our slightly rocky but also beautiful trip here and uh, see the benefits of visiting one of Europe's smallest and one of the world's smallest countries. World's fifth, fifth smallest, smallest yep. country. Yeah. yeah. And one of the most interesting. Good morning, good morning from a town very aptly named for us Avgeeks, Cessna. Which I don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but. Yes, yeah, Cessna. Cessna, maybe. There's our car behind us. We are heading for breakfast. How cute is this restaurant? This is where we are having our breakfast. So we're quickly realizing how freaking awesome it is to have a car. We can just stop and have breakfast at a restaurant we find in a cute little town and you get to see so many amazing places that you wouldn't see otherwise. So I think this, we're gonna try to make this a thing we do more often. We've already rented a car in a few days as well, but just getting to see these places feels so much more special than going to like Florence where it's just packed anyway. So cute. This is like straight out of a, some Italian fairy tale or something. I can't believe what's happening. So we have now entered into San Marino without even knowing it because there are no signs, nothing. We expected to see like a something we could take a picture with, like welcome to San Marino. But it just transitioned and suddenly I checked the map and I was like, oh we're here, we're in country 59. Okay, so San Marino is a country of hills, or rather a hill, apparently, because it's this just this mountain, this cliff, that the entire country is like located on top of. And so we drove up on the less steep side now, and now we're walking up towards the super like huge cliff drop. So that's going to be really exciting to see. I just want to give a fair warning to <laughs> anyone who's planning to drive into the country of San Marino, and if you're not used to driving steep uphill or also driving not super super strong cars. It was so steep that I couldn't even drive on second gear. The cars behind me were like honking and I was getting really really stressed. <laughs> yeah just a fair heads up. We were watching Geography Now on our way here which is our favorite way of preparing to go to a country if they have that country and we learned that San Marino actually has the world's oldest constitution and not only that but it was founded by religious refugees, so people coming from Italy, and they formed like a little community, but what's so cool is that it was always such a small country, now there's like 33,000 people living here, that no one ever really wanted to invade, they didn't care to bother them, they were just like, stay there, you do you, we'll work around you, but you just stay there and, and enjoy your little hill, and that's how San Marino has stayed until this day. So this is the first of three towers in San Marino at the very peak on the edge of the cliff. And here you get both sides of the view, so you get the sea on the one side and then the hills on the other. I don't even know if we can accurately show you how beautiful San Marino is, but this is seriously so insane. I think I've seen photos of this sometime, but I haven't really registered. But you guys really have to try to go here because 
it feels like we're in some sort of Disneyland of nature, which is exactly mine and Oscar's thing. So this is like the perfect, perfect place for us. And it's just, we could sit here all day looking at this view. It's so incredible. Oh. So it's optional too. If you want to go into one of the towers, there are three different towers uh, you can pay to enter. We decided not to just because we prefer the nature side of things anyway. And honestly speaking, just getting this walk between the, the towers for free, it's just insane and it's complete, like you don't need anything else, I feel like. This is all you need and it's just so spectacular, I can't even describe it, can't even describe it. Within the maze within, I ain't nobody perfect. Tell them, tell them in my 